mom. I made a promise to Stacy. I told her I'd do everything I could for her little girl. Look at me. I can't even get up the guts to go see her. Where have you been? I don't know. All those wires and tubes and machines. Plus, what if I run into Gigi or Skylar or Rex? It'll bring up everything that happened with Stacy. I'll fall apart all over again. You just need a little moral support. That happens to be my specialty, so why don't you let me go with you? Okay, how's this? You stay here and keep your eagle eyes on Sierra, and I will bring you back some clothes. Perfect. Thanks. Sweetheart, if you don't like this breakfast, I'll get you a muffin. No, okay. don't go. I need to talk to you about something, something important. Okay, what is it? How am I going to get Chris back? That's so sweet of you, but you came to see your daughter, and I should let you do that. I'll meet you back here later, okay? I think there's something that you need to know. Morning. Morning. Hey, what was all the noise last night? Sound like you were moving some furniture. I might have done a few push-ups. <laughs> Why, did I disturb your beauty sleep? Uh, actually, no, I slept great. Ask me why, Chris. Why did I sleep the sleep of a satisfied man? You know what, I, I think I'm fine without the details. Well, at least congratulate me on a job well done. I finally got that girl in the bed. Hey, yes, sweetheart. Some tea and game cups. I'm going out for a while, Kelly. Is there anything I can bring back for you? No. Okay. No, no, I'm fine. Okay. No, she is not fine. She needs her family with her. I won't be long, just some old business contacts want to meet with me and I will be back before you know it, okay? You're being so brave. Isn't she, Blair? You took the words right out of my mouth. How does my mother's heart just give out like that? I never heard doctors, anyone, ever, say a word about a heart condition? No, neither did I. May she rest in peace. May you rot in hell. Lieutenant. I know, I know. No, Mom. You don't. 
But Christian, he knows. And when we kissed... You what? It felt like when I'm with them, it feels like I'm home again. Jessica, you are very vulnerable right now. You should not have done that. No, I kissed him. But Christian felt something. I know that he did. And that's why I have to get out of here so we can start over again. Well, okay. let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? We need, we need to wait to see what Dr. Evans says about you leaving. Coffee's fresh. Help yourself. <clears throat> Thanks. I think I might need a lot more than that. <laughs> Don't tell me this girl tired you out. I don't know. She was a tough one, man. She put up kind of a fight. I almost gave up, and I'm glad I didn't. I gave her a new lease on life. Is that all? Oh, I'm serious. I showed her that she didn't have to stay trapped in the box that she'd put herself in. <laughs> you know that? So... Are you going to see this girl again, or is this just another conquest? You have to know how happy it made your mother to hear that you and Kevin were raising Zane together. Mom hardly had a chance to know Zane. I, I thought we had years. I thought um, we'd have more Christmases and birthdays. She was taken from us too soon. You know, I, I feel terrible about this, but uh, would you mind if I went out for a little bit? There's something I just need to do in honor of your dear mother. Blair, you be good. Aren't I always? Mm. Well, you know, Kelly, well, maybe, maybe I was just imagining it, but I couldn't help but notice when Dorian actually mentioned Kevin, you got a little tense. Is everything okay? I'll get it. Okay. Do you really think something's up with Kevin and Kelly? Actually, I'm more interested in why you keep staring at your phone like it might jump up and bite you. Don't you let Gigi, Skyler, or anybody else for that matter tell you that you don't have the right to care about that baby. Stacy was your best friend and you loved her. So you go and you do whatever it is you need to do. The way you said that, it makes me think I could pull it off. You stick with me. Because this cowboy knows what he's talking about. What are you doing here? Checking on my daughter. You know, it's funny. She's always been your daughter, but until Stacy died, you didn't want to claim her. I guess that's why we haven't seen you around here since the surgery. I've been here. I've just been trying.